Hi and welcome to Delphi tutorial of how to connect straight into a database and this is just a brief demonstration of the one created earlier you see how those uh, components work we can go straight to the first data the last one or we can even add new data or subtract or delete data if we want we can refresh we can do whatever we like so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to take you guys straight into Delphi development environment I will put one of these brilliant tutorials together so I'm going to exit out and right here I'm going to go straight to the file new let's select window VCL application click on that now that my form is ready I'm going to set the size of the very form to the height of the form let's make that about 614 and that is the height the width I'm gonna make that about 800 plus let's go for about 875 875 and that does that and let's come up here you see where we have the caption I change the caption instead of form 1 I'm gonna change that to database connector there we go and that is it right there database connector now let's go straight in here you see the palette i'm going to click on the palette just type in tp so the tp will get us the panel click on the panel and just drag it right there just about that that's fine okay now let's copy that same panel copy it paste we have two and copy another one there and one more there we go so the four panels that we need are there meanwhile the top panel here I'm going to change the details of that very top panel to data base connector okay you might not be able to see it so what I'm going to do is go straight to the font right here where's the font right there let's increase the size of the font I make that 20 I'm going to come right down here make that about 48 bold there we go and this very panel here I'm going to change the size as follows let's go for the width first I'm going to make that 66 for 664 and the height I'm gonna make the height about let's go for something like 306 maybe something like that let's go to the height there we go that's fine and let's make sure it's properly positioned that is fine and this very one here I'm just gonna drag it here I'm gonna need that somewhere here there we go right there okay that's good enough I'm bring it right down there and that is it guys all taken care of so I'm going to select the these three panel here just to get rid of the text content we have in them I think we should have to go to caption there we go delete press enter brilliant so if I run it this is what you guys will see no error so far there and you you might be surprised that there's not even a single line of code to everything that we're about to do okay now let's go back straight to the palette here I'm going to type in there so right in here I'm going to type in C A D O connector there we go that's the connector I need right now grab the connector you can just dump that somewhere here there we go one connector down this very connector TADO connect one or connection one is called I'm now going to come right here but I do need the location where my database is so let me show you guys where the database is right here that's my database the one I intend to use double click on that it's created in access there we go enable that and there as the database I intend to use so I'm going to close that now this very database I'm going to copy it because I will need it in the very folder where I'm going to save my work 
Okay, let me save it. I should have saved that first. Okay, let's save project as. I'm gonna call that. Oh, let's make sure I save it in the right location. There we go, right there. So I'm gonna call that. Uh, create a folder for it and just call that folder. Let's say training database. There we go. That's the name. Now I'm gonna click on the folder called training database and I'm gonna call that training DB save there and i'm now going to save the project as well as training training data yeah that's fine now click on save there that's the name of my database right there now that that is done i'm going to now go straight into my training db here let's see where that is it's somewhere here now the database that i've copied pasted right in there that is the database if i show it to you guys one more time that is it okay that's the database right there okay let's close that the database now what we want to do is make sure your ado connection one is selected now let's come right up here we should be able to see connection string click on the connection string let's locate wherever the database is I'm going to now click on you see here where we have use connection string I'm going to click on that and let's navigate to wherever our database is this is what I intend to use Microsoft Office 16.0 assets database 16.0 uh, database engine O L E. If I click on next, see that means I must know the location of my database. So to do that, you can always come here. That's your database there. Just right click and select the address of your database, and you can paste that right in here. Okay, and just paste it there. There we go. All right got the address yeah that's fine now come to the second part of it here get rid of this admin and you see where we have blank get rid of that as well now let's test if the connection is working connection is successful brilliant so let's go to the next tab here click on advanced inside the advanced because I want to be able to read and write straight into that database I'm going to click on that and uncheck the other one okay read write straight onto that database i think that's all there is to that now so let's click on ok there and click on ok here as well brilliant so one more thing left for us to do let's scroll right down you see where we have login prompt you see where we have true i'm going to uncheck that if you don't un uncheck that it's going to ask you for a password to open up your database so that is fine now let's go back to our palette here again you see here we now need ado table there we go that is it right there click on ado table and just dump it right there once the ado table is on your system you now come back to your properties here you see where we have the connection we now want to connect this ado table to ado connect to one now come right here see where we have connection string click on that and drop down this and just connect it that is it it is connected the name of my table is called training I agree the record is called training as well we will now want to select the database is called training and the table is called tra training as well or trainee so click on table name and drop this down you should be able to see your table in there there that is it connected to your database we have one more thing to do and what we now need is the data source so let's come back in here and we just type in data there we go data source grab the data source and just dump it right there in the case of the data source all you need to do is you see where we have data set click on data set drop it down and select this table there 
all of that is now taken care of that is good you can arrange it how you want that's it i'm just gonna paste them around the corner there now one more thing we need to do two more things or three actually now inside here we need db nav there we go grab the db navigator i'm just gonna dump it there look at it that is my navigator there okay now let's go to the property of this very navigator here i'm going to drag this down the data source is going to be from data source one so that's one then two and i want to change the orientation of this navigator let's look for i think it's called something kind look at it instead of uh, horizontal i'm going to change that to vertical there that is it right there you can now change the size to how you want and just bring it to right down this makes life easy guys not a single line of code there that's fine now we need something that will look like text box and that is called db db edit there we go database edit grab that drop it right there very good i'm going to change the text no let's change it yet yeah? the font i'm gonna make that about 20. brilliant there yeah. so that is number one i'm not going to bother change the name okay because this is just how to connect now one more thing let's grab a label tl for label grab the label just dump it right there change the font size of that label to 20 as well make that bold 20 now you can change the text content if you want I'm gonna change this one to let's go in here to the caption and let's just change that to student ID that's the very first one that's fine so I'm now gonna copy this notice the name DB edit one let's copy and paste now we have db edit 2 copy again db edit 3 and 4 and i need just two more paste db edit 3 and 6 brilliant now i'm now going to change this label this very one here let's change that to first name so go straight to the caption that becomes first name we have saw name we have address we have gender and finally that's going to be mobile yeah that is it all done okay now the last thing that we need to do now is we want to add a data grill here it's called d db grill there we go grab that and just dump it right here there we go that's our data grill let's drag it that much you can bring that down all right so all we then need to do is to take care of the connections now for this very data grill let's look for the connections here that we need to take care of see the data source drop that down there now now that is done now let's do one thing so that we can see the data you see this table ado table make sure it's selected and there's one that we need to activate here you see the active make sure it's checked you see as soon as i checked it because i've selected data source here it automatically display my data look at that brilliant now we also need to link all of these this ad edit one i'm going to come right down here this one is going to be linked to you see data source drop it down there we go now data field the first one i'm going to need is student id 
Repeat exactly the same thing for the next one. Data source and first name. So let's take your surname as well. Data source is from data source one, and data field is going to be surname. Then the address, data source one selected, then data field that's going to be address. There we go. Now gender drop that down and select data source and here data field is going to be gender and the mobile data source one and right here we need mobile that is it it's all done so one more thing if i run it now this is what you guys will see There we go, no error, nothing, that's brilliant. There, right there. Okay, I can navigate how I want. Go to the first one, go to the last one, and so on. But there's one or two things we need to take care of. Unfortunately, we can't see all of the data here on our data grid. Right click on the data grid, and let's select column editor. Inside the column editor right there, now click on this very field here that says add all field select the very first field click on student id the student id yeah the student id seems to be fine the width is 64 so that is fine now let's go to the sorry and the first name the first name the width is about 1534 that's way over the top i'm going to make that maybe about 90 now let's have a look at the surname the surname is 1534 make that 90 as well now let's go to address select address 1534 change that to about let's go for maybe 200 now gender select the gender the gender is giving me 1000 plus as well i can make that about 70 and finally the mobile giving me 1000 plus as well we can just make that about 80 there we go all done now close this so all i don't need to do is just to try it out click on run there we go guys that is beautiful this is how you create your own data connector in delphi it's a brilliant tutorial love this package so let's come in here just modify the whole thing the way it looks let's make it a little bit more presentable all right guys that's how the modification or the modifier version is looking so i'm going to click on run again it's coming up there we go guys look at that beautiful i love this all right so let's just navigate around play around with it and see there we can delete data if we want you see this very william whatever i'm going to get rid of it are you sure okay get rid of it okay now let's refresh kind of we can refresh with this and then navigate again there so if we click on add we can then add new data and let's say the name is tom sawyer yeah tom sawyer something like that an address is number 10 Milky Way there we go something like that gender male and it's mobile number 07 yeah that's his number all they need to just do is to accept that and that's it look at Tom Sawyer right there and if we go to this database let's go straight to the database now i'm going to open up the database that is it right there double click on that and we should be able to see tom sawyer right there where's mr t there we go look at mr t right there this package is very good i would seriously advise all of you are interested in programming to to have a go at using delphi so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to be a member of the channel well have a nice day now and bye for now